Well, I think it's magical how they managed to do it. The Snorra Field came on stream in 1992, and now we are expanding. 24 new wells will provide 200 million new barrels of oil from Snorra. The wells are drilled through six new templates installed on the seabed. Between the templates and Snorra A, we're using three special and huge bundles. Bundlen er egentlig et stort samlerør, hvor vi legger all gass og produksjon og, og vanninjeksjon rørene samlet inn i stort rør. Så kobler vi alt dette sammen så at vi kan slepe det ut fra land og ut til Snorre og, og legge det ned på sjøbunnen. The bundles have a diameter of around 50 inches and are more than 7 kilometers long. Och alla de tre bundlarna vi har tillsammans, det väger över 30 000 ton, så detta är ganska stora dimensioner. It's not suitable for all projects. It's about length and how many pipes it must hold. It's therefore more than 20 years since Equinor ordered such bundles. It was perfect for the Snorra project. Med bakningen så är det 7,6 km med bundel. Alltså det är denna västbundeln och så är det två bundlar till norr och öst som då kopplas i samman så att det blir en lång bundel till slut. That means fewer vessel days and lower costs. Ja, det är nog betydligt billigare. Nettopp för det att det byggs färdigt på land och det installeras i en gång och det är Det trenger ikke tålbeskyttelse, for dette carrier-pipe-rør er jo sterk nok, så det tåler trålastene. The Snorre expansion project creates major ripple effects in Norway and on the other side of the North Sea. In Wick, far north in Scotland, we find the only facility in Europe making such bundles. På topp er det 150 mann som jobber med denne bundelen. When Subsea 7 gets a big contract, it provides jobs to local subsuppliers too. Ja, alltså carrier kommer från Storbritannien. En del av de indre rören, alla carbonrören kommer från Storbritannien. Alltså ting du inte ser här någon längre in det är isolation, det är centralizer, det är något som kallas för spacer så håller rören inne i samman. Och det är ju väldigt lokalt här. The big two heads are made a bit further south by Global Energy in Invergordon. Much needed jobs in a region with high unemployment. Nei, det er en kjekk dag å se at du endelig har jobbet så lenge, og så får du se at strukturene begynner å bevege på seg og få dem videre, altså det er kjempe. Den ser akkurat like fin ut som vi hadde håpet og som vi visste den skulle bli. Så nå er vi endelig klar til å frakte den første av ni strukturer som skal opp til Vik. To get to the facility, however, the structures must be carried through town. Um, and we've prepared the route through town. We've got some very tight corners to negotiate before we can get to Wester. So we're going to take this uh, structures up the hill behind me and then out through the town. It's a highly experienced team preparing for a very special transport. Yes, we've done this quite a few times. Sadly, it always seems to be in the winter time. They have to do quite a lot moving street furniture, taking down walls on the route and taking down signposts. So yes, you know, but they've done it many, many times, so everybody knows what they are doing, so. And you've done it a few times as well? Done it a few times, yes. Are you nervous before you jump like this? No, no. It's, you just get used to it, is what you do. And even if it means closed roads for a while, the locals don't complain. They call me more about when is it happening, because they're excited to see something like this happening in their town. They are a part of it, and they help us to get them through town. They're very patient, and we appreciate their patience. And to, because of that, we can do special things like we see today. Well, I think it's magical how they managed to do it. It's really quite fantastic, and uh, to think that a small town like this is supplying this sort of... Uh, equipment for worldwide things I suppose and it gives a lots of jobs because we're very short in employers you know so it's good for them. I think I've seen them all I've lived here for about 30 or 40 years. They get bigger and bigger and this is the biggest one I've ever seen and I really didn't think it would get round that corner.
The uh, job today didn't go too badly. Uh, obviously the difficulty was coming out of Wick through the town, a lot of tight turnings, and then out onto the open road. And you didn't break any walls? No, no, we didn't break any walls today. We uh, had a quite a good run. Everybody seemed quite happy. After the tow heads were installed on the bundle, the long tows could head for the North Sea to the Snorrow Field, where they are now resting on the bottom of the sea.